How are you viewing this move from Durant? Well, I'm viewing it as the weakest move I've ever seen from a superstar. Plain and simple. That's just how I look at it. Uh, it's not that he's leaving Oklahoma City. If you're not happy there and you want to move on and you want to grow as a player, or you know, there's nothing wrong with that. He's one of the top three players in the world. He's a quintessential superstar. He deserves all the credit in the world for the talent that he possesses. But the flip side is this. They were up 3-1 in the Western Conference Finals. Not one, not two, but three different times. He was 48 minutes removed from um, getting to the NBA Finals by winning the Western Conference. Three times he failed, particularly in Game 6. And you depart for the team that beat you when you're on the cusp of getting to the Finals yourself or ultimately winning the championship for the franchise that you've been with since you've come into the NBA. I think it's incredibly weak. And I don't want to hear any comparisons to that of LeBron James when LeBron James left Cleveland for South Beach. When LeBron left Cleveland, the cupboard was bare. Uh, he was the basically he was basically the only dude in Cleveland. It was LeBron James and a bunch of no names. In the case of Kevin Durant, you have one of the top five players in the world as your teammate. You've got Billy Donovan, who's proven to be an exceptional coach. You've got a coaching staff. You've got a first class organization. You've got Enos Kanter and Stephen Adams and all of these boys. You are legitimately a championship contender. You are the difference. You are the superstar, and you depart for the team that beat you, that's been that's the two-time reigning uh, defending Western Conference champions who's won a championship in the last two years, you're jumping on a bandwagon as far as I'm concerned. That's just the way that I look at it. I don't think there's any way to deny that. Uh, you know, all the reporters, whether it's Ramona, it's Chris Broussard, everybody doing an exceptional job, you know, pointing out the things that they point out. I don't disagree with anything anybody is saying. But in the end, what it comes down to is that Kevin Durant is one of the top three players in the world, and he ran away from the challenge that he faces in order to jump on a bandwagon of a team that's a little bit better, that's already rife with at least one superstar, a couple of guys that can really, really get it done. I just view it as him jumping on a bandwagon, and I think it's the weakest move I've ever seen by a superstar, plain and simple.